It is good news that the Messiah gave his life as a ransom for many. Mark 10, 45. It is good news that we sinners who deserve judgment, I mean, read Romans 3, can be saved from the wrath to come that even John the Baptist spoke about in Matthew 3. And this good news, it's for people of every nation, tribe, and tongue. Revelation 5, 9. Revelation 7. So you heard him. So he basically believes, which, you know, that's the, the ultimate consensus of, uh, you know, the many Christian denominations that the gospel was to pretty much everyone, that he died for the remission of the sins of everyone. Now, we already know up top, you know, we go back to, you know, uh, Bible Basics 101, you know, first of all, what does it mean to sin? It means pursuant to First John 3 verse 4. And it says, whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. That's what sin is. That's the, that's the, 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 the definition, give or take. Basically, if you say anything outside of that, then you're going off. All right. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Harukha Hakwadash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Also, a sincere shalom to the elect and peace to the elect, fellow laborers scattered abroad. Um, I want to go in this video here from uh, the brother. GMS Vegas sit downs ga space ga that's GMS GMS Vegas sit downs one word space and then ga so if you haven't subscribed please subscribe now the uh, brothers the title of the brothers channel is I mean the brothers video is correct the correct the gospel is good news for us not you and yours right so that was an intriguing title, so I clicked on it, and, uh, you know, the infamous vocab Malone, right? He had said the same old, same, same old doctrine of everybody can make it, right? So the brother went into something, and the good thing about videos like this, five or ten different brothers can make videos on this and each pull something right on out of it. Right, you can't. I mean, this is one of those videos that you can go on for hours, and it can still remain spiritual because that's the biggest controversy of the scriptures, right? About um, the gospel is for everybody. You know, this Bible in general was only for the Israelites, and we'll prove that. So anyway, the brother went into the, uh, the fact that he was talking about this: um, everybody could be saved. And the brother went in and talking about, the, you know, the sin and the sin is transgression of the law. So, I, you know, I wanted to go into Hebrews real quick. And I was going to go into Mark, um, probably Acts, a little bit of Revelation, and go into this word kindreds, right? Um, Hebrews 12 and 16, lest there be any fornicate or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. For ye know that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected, for he found no place of repentance. So, vocab alone was talking about repenting, repenting. The only, the only sin that can't be forgiven is blaspheming against the Holy Ghost, right? We all know this. We know this man, Esau, what he's done is blaspheme against the Holy Ghost. So there's no way, there's no repentance, for this man, right, and in his nation, there's no repentance, right. So you could say, well, it was just Esau. When you read Malachi the first chapter, if I'm correct, it says um, the indignation, basically the indignation of the people of 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 Edom, whom the Lord have indignation forever, right. So I want to go to Mark 
when he pulled out Mark 10, 45. For even so, it says, for even the Son of Man came to be ministered unto, but to minister and to give his life a ransom for many. All right, who's the many? It didn't say everybody. The many is the Israelites. That's who he gave his life for. Remember, Hosea, the first chapter says, Israel is the sand of the sea. You guys ain't got it. You Christians, you ain't got it. So, the order to understand who the many is, let's go back. Like, when you go to read any book or you go to any movie, there's a plot. You need to know who this movie is talking about, what it's talking about, and who it's talking about. Those are the main things. So, let's go to Mark 1 and 1. Now, you'll see the same things in Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Okay? And basically, some a lot of these things that is quoted... That Yahweh quoted and things that was quoted was even from the Old Testament. So it's all one gospel. Right? It says the beginning of the, it says the beginning of the gospel of Yahweh, the son of Yahweh. Right? As it is written, the prophets, behold, the prophet. Who are the prophets? Behold, I send my messenger. Right? I send my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare thy way before thee. Goes on to say, the voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. So now we're seeing who are these people that Mark is talking about, that Yahweh is preparing the way for. It says, John did baptize in the wilderness, and it says, and preached the baptism of repentance. Now we just read in Hebrews the 12th chapter. There was no repentance for Edom. For the remission of sins. And that's what the brother was bringing out. And there, okay, it says, And there went out unto him all the land of Judea, and they of Jerusalem, and were all baptized of him in the river of Jordan, confessing their sins. Where's everybody in that? What other nations? What other nations? I mean, we need to see that. This is why we go into the beginning. Because the beginning is who it's talking about. You know, it's sick. I mean, it's real sick. There are all the things that happened to us. And pushed and forced into these churches. Worshipping a fake Jesus. A fake God. Idols. And sickness. And diseases. And everything else that was cast upon us. Slavery. All these things that happened to us. Now we're finding a way out. We finally woke up to the truth. And then we start identifying and say, well, wait a minute, that's us. Who else could it be? Then you have the, the, the wickets, the, the, the wickets, as I call them, have set up to <laughs> set people, uh, uh, set these people up to come and tell us uh, that you're telling a lie. Now, these, these same Christians, a lot of these Christians, remember, I remember going to church. They never opened the Bible and showed us things. Now, this man, vocab, he's quoting scriptures. I never heard a Christian do that. There have been some who's done it. But I'm seeing the average Christian now, and they want to start quoting scriptures. And the only scriptures they go into is the New Testament. Why? Because the translations... From the uh, um, Septuagint to the, to the uh, Hebrew to the Greek. Universalized uh, um, words like Gentile and Greek. That word wasn't even in the Bible. Going back uh, um, even with the, the, the John Wycliffe Bible. Where Gentile's not even in there. It says heathen. Where hell's not even in some of these Bibles. Anyway. We see we we understand the King James is the best version because we it, because of the broken English we understand it but now we've peeled the layers on it and we understand it okay let's go to Mark six and seven it says and he called unto him the twelve and began to send them forth by two and two and gave them power over the unclean spirits right so we understand that so. Let's go back to um, Mark, I mean, uh, Salakia, Mark. 
let's go back to Mark, and I'll, I'll get to this point. Let's go to um, 10 and 45 again. It says, what he quoted, For even the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister and to give his life a ransom uh, for many. Now when you go to, I believe, Matthew 8 and 11, it says the Son of Man has come to save that which is lost. So who is he giving his life to a ransom for many? Let's go to Acts. Let's go to Acts. It's real easy for us. Acts 5 and 30. The God of our fathers raised up Yahawashah, right, who ye slew and hanged on a tree. Didn't the, didn't the uh, Israelites get brought over here into this place and get hung on trees? Didn't we have crosses burnt in our backyards? I wonder did there's some relevance to that. Why did the so-called Negroes have crosses burnt in their black backyards if, if they wasn't the real Jews, right? Anyway, it just makes sense. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus and you slew, you slew and hanged on the tree, whom you slew and hanged on the tree. Him have God exalted his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. Well, um, you can go into, um, was it John 11 with Caiaphas, right? But when we go back here, it says, For even the Son of Man came to be a minister unto, but to, even the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister and to give his life a ransom for many. And then we read it right here to give it, uh, to be a savior and a prince, for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. Okay? And we are the uh, witness of these things. And so uh, is also the Holy Ghost whom God, Yahweh, have given to them that obey him. So we understand the universalism of the scriptures. How they've uh, manipulated words like Gentile and Greek. When we were Greeks and we were Gentiles. That's why uh, Paul said, no, you you know that you were once Gentiles carried away into these dumb idols. Right. Um, well, you know what? Let me get that for edification's sake. Let me get that for edification's sake. Let's go to um, rep, uh, first Corinthians, I believe. Uh, Twelve. Looks like two. Ye know that ye were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols well let's go to one so you get the understanding now that concerns spiritual gifts brethren you want to know who the brethren is go back to first corinthians the first chapter i gotta tell you who the brethren is everybody knows who the brethren is you should know romans the ninth chapter kinsmen flesh israelites i will not have you ignorant ye know that ye were gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols even as ye were led. Right? Wherefore I give you to understand that no man speaking by the Spirit of Yahweh called Jesus Yahweh Shai cursed, that no man can say that Yahweh Shai is the Lord but uh but by the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost. Anyway, let's go to Revelation seven and nine. What he he say he quoted Revelation five and nine. Um and this goes into the end times it says uh and he sung a new song well let's go to well let me go there and they sung a new song that uh thou thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof for thou was was slain and has redeemed us to yahweh by the blood out of the uh out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation and has made us unto our yahweh to our God kings and priests and we shall reign on the earth right so he said out of every kindred now Deuteronomy 28 I believe 64 says uh, we were scattered we would be the Lord said he would scatter us into all nations from one end of the earth even to the other right so um, we read Acts I believe 325 